Well, we're here at the Battery Show in Novi, Michigan, and uh, you've heard of vehicles that run on gasoline, of course, and diesel fuel, and E85. How about one that runs on aluminum? Yep, aluminum as a fuel, and it's called a, an aluminum air battery. And here to help us understand that concept today is Douglas Ramsey, and he's from Alcoa. Doug, tell us a little bit about how this works. No, thank you. Um, so essentially, that's correct. This uh, this is a battery. It's a uh, it's a battery that is a, 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 a fuel cell for all intents and purposes. It's just consuming aluminum as the fuel. Uh, it's an idea that's been around for over 100 years. Um, we, uh, when we first developed the smelting process over 125 years ago, um, we were very appreciative of the amount of electricity that went into the primary production of metal. Uh, once that electricity goes into the smelting process, you've trapped a charge into the metal. Uh, the riddle, uh, from a scientific point of view, is how can you intelligently really release that charge and turn it into a useful charge, a portable charge? Um, what we have done now uh, with this battery is we've come up with a, a compact uh, reverse smelter. Uh, we're reversing the process in a managed corrosion uh, cell where I can take the aluminum and I can slowly bleed off layer after layer uh, and I'm going to be releasing an electrical charge. Uh, eventually uh, I'm going to reduce this plate uh, down to total zero. Uh, that's a 90% consumed aluminum plate. Uh, so as a, as a uh, range uh, extender uh, for automotive, this is a killer application. I can remove the, uh, the internal combustion engine, and I can put this in there. And with the, the current car that we have for a very compact size, I can give you 1,000 miles on board. So that's really the concept, isn't it? It's a range extender. So in other words, say a Chevy Volt has an internal combustion engine that they use as a range extender. Here, we're using a aluminum ion uh, or aluminum oxygen battery as the range extender. So we have an electric car with uh, two batteries, the main lithium ion battery for propulsion and the uh, aluminum air battery for the range extender. Now, uh, Douglas, tell us a little bit about how long it takes for this uh, process to occur. In other words, what's the, the life of the battery before you have to replace the aluminum, and who replaces the aluminum? Yeah, it, it depends on the configuration of the battery. Uh, with the current battery, I'm going to give you roughly 100 hours uh, worth of uh, life on that, but as a range extender, you're not going to be using that on a daily basis. Uh, with the demonstration car that we have right now, we have a lithium-ion front end, uh, so we have roughly 70 miles worth of range uh, for your daily commute. Uh, I'm going to wager you don't drive more than 70 miles round trip. So you're going to be plugging in in the evenings. Uh, this is kicking in when you're getting to that uh, 50, 60, 70 mile mark on the lithium ion. Uh, now you're starting to bleed down the range extender. Uh, so on average, what we're projecting is you're going to do a fuel replacement every six months. Um, over the life of the battery itself, uh, We've been running these batteries in Israel with our, our development partner for the last three and a half years, and we have not had a, a single failure on the cathode technology yet. That's really amazing. And uh, one of the questions, though, is to who exactly replaces this thing in the battery? Yeah, the, the, the servicing of the battery and the, the mechanical replacement of the fuel would happen at a service station uh, where we could have these in stock. We would be able to you know, very quickly replace the spent uh, electrolyte, uh, take out the, uh, the residual housing after the uh, aluminum has been con consumed, uh, do a click in with the, uh, with the new anodes put fresh electrolyte into the system, and you're back driving within 15 to 20 minutes. That's just amazing. And uh, putting fresh electrolyte into the system, that's something else I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, because you had talked about recycling. So uh, this electrolyte can be sent back to the uh, aluminum people, right? And they're going to extract the aluminum back out of it? It's a closed loop. Um, once you're desmelting the aluminum, you're creating all the precursor chemicals that go into the primary production of aluminum. Uh, once you've spent that electrolyte, I can pick that up at a service station, I can take it directly back to an aluminum smelter, and I can put it right into the refining process. And I can create new aluminum. That's pretty amazing. So, wow, this is a pretty cool concept, isn't it? Who knows, you may actually have a car someday that runs on aluminum.